So clearly at this point in time, the September Nintendo Direct rumors are absolutely out of control online, and depending on which accounts you follow and who you may put some stock into, there are now conflicting opinions on when this thing may take place, and we have to break down and go over all of the latest updates around where we should be setting our expectations for a September Nintendo Direct right now. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunburn Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. As I mentioned guys, today we are discussing all of the ongoing rumor speculation talk online that suggests that yes indeed, September we should be seeing a Nintendo Direct taking place. You have multiple names out there that are well known in the leak slash rumor community in terms of people who have actually had a track record, names like Jeff Grubb, names like Nate the Hate. You can argue that nobody's perfect and that plans change, and you can also just dismiss them altogether. That part is up to you, but regardless, it is safe to say that Nintendo fans and their anticipation around this event potentially taking place this month is at an all-time high absolutely and most notably some major games that have been rumored for a long time to come could be revealed at this event such as most notably The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD most likely believed to be a combo pack games like Metroid Prime 1 Remaster and even F-Zero GX Remaster or Remake depending on what that project actually is and so there will be a lot of GameCube ports to talk about potentially at this direct there will also be some likelihood that breath of the wild 2 could show up with something even as big as a potential title reveal and or release date for the game as we clearly don't know right now what to expect that title other than spring 2023 is what nintendo is aiming to release that and you have to argue that if spring is in march and it is that if they're trying to launch it in early spring it may very well indeed be the time to finally pull back the curtain and give us that reveal and the reason this is all back in the news is tied to a real world event that just took place which is the sad passing of queen elizabeth and clearly if you are in the uk this is a massive deal right now and we have seen nintendo delay previously scheduled events as well as other gaming companies due to real world matters that happen unforeseen circumstances and even most recently pushing back an entire finished game like advance wars one plus two reboot camp that was set to be launched in april due to the real world conflict that is going on with russia and ukraine so you do know that nintendo could potentially view this as something that they need to be sensitive about but this nice article over on nintendo life does highlight some of the talking points and i found it interesting around what's going around because there is now two different kind of warning signs I guess around where should we should be spending uh, setting our expectations rather around this upcoming direct one of them being to caution the fact that this may be delayed how can you delay an unannounced direct you really can't but the idea is is that if it was planned for the week of the 12th it may now be pushed back then you have an opposing opinion that says that the announcement is coming on Monday and we will cover both of them now, the big tweet that broke this was from Mr. Mike Minotti himself, who is the one who went on record stating that he knows that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD will indeed be featured at the upcoming September Nintendo Direct, which is where a lot of these rumors started to originally gain traction. I am terrified to say this because it sounds like something no one will believe, but it sounds like the Nintendo Direct might be delayed because of the Queen. Now, if you continue down the article, Jeff Grubb has added this, stating how, as weird as it may seem, it essentially boils down to Nintendo being Nintendo. The company has delayed broadcast announcements and game releases previously due to global events, and this could potentially be the same case. Now then, there's quoted here saying, I agree, that's weird, but are you new here? Have you met Nintendo? Hopefully this was just a conversation about whether or not they should delay and it still happens. Now that's clearly a big point we have to quickly drive home because the statement there is that there is talk right now on whether or not they should delay the direct but not an official decision so keep all of that in mind when we are talking about this story as it unfolds because it sounds like nintendo hasn't made anything official in terms of what they're actually going to be doing with a potential september nintendo direct and i do think that while they could definitely view this as an event that they feel like it would be insensitive to put the direct on it is all 
also entirely possible that they go along with their originally scheduled plans and to be fair even if the plans do change since they haven't announced them yet officially they're not going to come out and say oh yeah we were going to have it on the week of the 12th being like the 14th but now we're going to do it to the next week they will just hold it back and give us a direct the following week or the end of September but you do have to think about some of the implications that a delay would have for the rumored titles if they are indeed there because if we get games like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD announced you would think that Nintendo is going to want to do some kind of a rapid fire marketing approach to sell those games and to get them into the consumer's hands and they would probably not want to launch them at the very tail end of 2022 being in something like November or December because we are at that point right around the corner providing that there's no further delays with Breath of the Wild 2 from that game's release and so it doesn't make sense for them to push back any of their release schedule even though there may be conflicting opinions on whether or not they should delay this broadcast but you have to remember that a marketing ramp up for games is still very much a thing and I would expect if we do get these ports to come over at all this year that it's going to be a very quick turnaround time something like announcement in the middle of September and out as soon as the last week of September or even into the early to mid part of October at the latest I don't think Nintendo goes much longer than that with these classic 3D Zelda games and the ports to come over to the Switch. Now the article continues to detail some of the thought process here that Nintendo's main concern is apparently a possible clash with funeral proceedings. Jeff also highlighted how the UK is a big part of Nintendo's market, so it's likely going to take the events into consideration out of respect and because it has business on the grounds operating there. Grub further elaborated on all of this in the latest episode of the Games Mess Decides podcast, mentioning how it's still very much a developing situation and Nintendo of America will likely be part of a decision making process tomorrow because, of course, when this news broke, it was in the middle of the night in Japan. So you have to know that these things aren't official yet. They are just being talked about at the very most if you buy into any of it at all. So I definitely get that there's some skepticism around stuff like this, but just entertain it for what it is. And then let's hop over to the opposing view, which does come to us from Nate Drake or Nate the Hate over on Twitter, where he has the following response to a fan asking a question around when the direct will actually take place as this fan was hearing that potentially the 12th, where he says many people are claiming that the Nintendo Direct is 12th of September. I find it unlikely because Nintendo has never done directs on Mondays. What are the odds it will be on Monday? Nate the Hate going and saying announcement on Monday. So clearly he's just saying that this Monday we will know the answer and Nintendo will drop the direct date. Whether or not that's Tuesday or Wednesday, that's anybody's guess, but they will go to Twitter and announce the direct on Monday. So we have this to now look at in terms of you know whether or not Nate has this info correct because it's literally happening on Monday if we are to believe this prediction here. So I personally will definitely have my eyes on Twitter Monday morning for any kind of announcement around the potential for this event. And I am just hopeful that everything stays on schedule as planned and that nothing has really changed in a dramatic way if the event was ever going to come to begin with, which I am a firm believer, Nintendo is going to communicate with their fans again before the holiday season, before everything ramps up in retail and they make way more money at that portion of the year. They are going to want to market new and existing games that we know to be in the works. Maybe we get some surprise bombshell announcements that we can look forward to for early next year. There is a lot of moving pieces to Nintendo's business. And I do think a direct happens regardless of all of these news stories and real world situations that are going on. I just think it is a question of is it now next week and that's what we can safely expect or will it be later into September and while we will never officially know what's being talked about behind the scenes from Nintendo this is the reason and the breakdown why you're probably seeing it talked about everywhere online and I personally am in the camp that Nintendo will be putting on a direct before the end of 2022 regardless could it slide into something as late as October maybe but I do think it's still safe to put your expectations on some kind of event taking place before the end of the year and most likely still in September and I'm going to be watching Monday morning for some kind of official announcement from Nintendo so we can circle back and find out if this information from Nate is correct or not.
But I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video, all your personal thoughts and feelings around the Nintendo Direct situation. Do you think that anything internally has changed at this point? Or maybe it's just rumblings and talking about it, but it's not going to happen. I want to hear all your thoughts on what games will be at the Direct and where your hype levels fall for it. Do you think that we are getting a ton of GameCube ports and remasters and that'll be a central theme? Do you think that we're getting things like the Breath of the Wild 2 title reveal and or release date? Or do you think that this will be more of a middle of the road Direct and not have many hype announcements, but rather Rather just be a standard direct with maybe something like a big show closer like metroid prime remaster being really the biggest thing that we can expect updates on so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today i do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already where we discuss an interesting trend with nintendo and their mainline big blockbuster games getting special edition oled releases and what it could mean for the future of Nintendo Switch hardware and or a Breath of the Wild 2 themed OLED at launch. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.